I came here from another airboat company, um, but I was mainly a driver. So now I got the opportunity here, and now I'm just strictly animals. My name's Travis, I am the animal handler here, the, the show guy, basically assistant curator, taking care of the animals. That's pretty much my job title, but it does you know, vary. I do a lot of other things around here as well. I believe it started early 80s, I'm not really sure, but it did start out with a guy pretty much digging a hole, putting a few alligators in it. It was more like a salvage yard, a guy just liked alligators, and then it kind of just transformed into this over the decades. We've got crocodiles, we do have a panther over there, we've got quite a few snakes on exhibit, some iguanas, we've got some tortoises in the back. Typical day, you know, I get here, I'll do a walk around, make sure nothing's out. If it is out, you have to, you know, put it back. Now, it doesn't happen very often, but it does occasionally happen. They can climb. You know, get ready to do the shows, get the snakes ready. You know, starting at 10 o'clock, I do my first show. Um, 11 o'clock, second show, the alligators. Um, and then just during, throughout the day, you know, take care of, you know, animals that are on exhibit. Something needs cleaned or fed. I'll go ahead and take care of that as well. We have some grow out pens over there. Uh, where the hatchlings goes, it's got wire over it so the birds and the other predators can't get to it. And once they're to a certain size, we'll move them down. Once they get too big for the grow out pens, they'll actually be put right in the back. There's a juvenile pen back there. And once they finally outgrow that, they go in here with the big boys. Uh, about every two to three weeks, we'll do roughly uh, 1,000 to 1,500 pounds of meat right there on the beach in the breeding pond. Whoever's really hungry, they're gonna be right there. It's like a big pile of meat, even larger pile of alligators on top of it. It's kind of neat. This is actually more like a, a paid hobby to me, you know? I get to educate the people, you know, let, let them learn about the reptiles, you know, let the, the, the kids, for example. I love working with the kids, you know, just education for one. Um, like I said, working with the animals has pretty much been a dream of mine since I was little. So, dream come true, I don't have a job, I have a paid hobby. Not a lot of people can say that.